Hello and welcome back to another TV Box Stop presentation. What I have here today is a very small TV box, it's just 77 by 17 mm in size and it somehow manages to contain some decent specs. This box is the B-Link A1, Rockchip RK3328, Quad-Core Android 4K TV box. After the break, I have a full review of its hardware and features, so stay tuned, because that's coming up next. And now a quick word from our sponsor. Gearbest is offering some crazy discounts in their latest Epic Markdown clearance sale. Get up to $80 off selected purchase over $400, $20 off selected purchase over $100, $15 off clearance purchase over $50, $10 off purchases over $50, $10 off over $100, and $5 off over $50. This is a limited time offer, so don't be left out. See the link in the description area to take advantage while stocks last, and now I return to the review. So I'm back, and let's take a look at the specs below the box. Here it shows that the CPU is the Rockchip RK3328 Quad-Core ARM Cortex-A53 processor, running up to 1.5 GHz. The display information is vague, only showing that it's an HD 2.0A 4K output. More will be shown on the GPU during the system and hardware information segment. It comes with 4GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. Again the information is vague here, it doesn't show whether the RAM type is DDR3 or DDR4. It comes with 80211 AC dual band Wi-Fi, it's got Ethernet LAN speed up to 1000 megabits per second, and Bluetooth 4.0. There's some interface ports and remote control information which I'll get to after the unboxing, and way below here it shows that the operating system is Android 7.1. So that's all for now on the hardware specs, and I'll move on to the unboxing. So in the box, you get the B-Link A1 TV box itself. You get this infrared remote. The remote is the new and improved B-Link remote, but if you are a power user and perform more advanced functions like installing Kodi add-ons or playing Android games, a Bluetooth Air mouse or mini touchpad keyboard would be a better option. You get one HDMI cable. A 5 volts 2 amps universal DC power adapter. And a quick setup user's guide. Let's examine the box. The housing is made of plastic, and as you can see this box is one of the smallest TV boxes on the market, and the box actually fits in the palm of your hands. To the back, you get one HDMI port, one RJ45 Ethernet LAN port, one audio video port, and a DC power input. To the side, you get one USB 2.0 port, one USB 3.0, and a micro SD card reader. To the front, you have an LED clock display. And to the bottom, you have a reset pinhole button and some ventilation holes. So I'll now connect this box to my TV, and when I return I'll continue. So I've connected the box to my TV, and it starts with a short B-Link boot-up animation which takes a few seconds. Then you're taken to the launcher. Before I proceed, B-Link has already provided a firmware update for this device, so I'll update the box and continue. So the box updated successfully, and one thing I noticed that is included in the new update that wasn't there before, was a navigation bar and status bar. So upon your first launch of the A1 you will not have a navigation bar, so be sure to update it as soon as you connect to the internet. The layout of the B-Link launcher has not changed from previous models, with the option to add shortcuts on the right panel, and easy to click menu buttons. There's a one-click memory cleanup button, and there's additional shortcut pages. In the apps section, you get a bare minimum set of standard application which doesn't include any movie streaming and social media apps. 
So like I always do, I'll install my usual set of system information and benchmarking apps and move on to the next segment. So I've installed all the apps needed to complete my review, but before I proceed, I just want to inform you that the first firmware update isn't the only one. I discovered that there is a total of at least 4 updates to be performed before you are up to date, and within these updates you get root access and a navigation bar. So when you get your box, keep on updating it until it says that your box is up to date. So as I proceed, I'll first check to see if the box is rooted. It shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 7.1.2 Nougat. Out of the box, the A1 is not rooted, but after the firmware updates root access is granted. Remember that root access is not necessary to stream free movies and TV shows, however, it is needed to run specialized apps like mirroring apps and keymapping apps. And now I show the DRM information. The DRM info shows that the A1 only has support for Google Widevine Level 3 and CENC ClearKey. Google Widevine Level 3 only allows you to watch Netflix in restricted standard quality. You will need a security level 1 clearance to show Netflix in 4K quality. Let's now take a look at some system and hardware information. It shows that the manufacturer is AZW, and the model is the B-Link A1. Below it shows that the box comes with 4GB of RAM and the remainder of the 16GB of internal storage after the Android installation and apps installed on the box. The CPU is the Rockchip RK3328 quad-core processor, running up to 1.5GHz. Below it also shows that the box has support for both 32 and 64-bit ABIs, which allows the box to run both 32 and 64-bit applications. The GPU is the ARM Mali 450MP Single Core Graphics Processor, with a refresh rate of 60Hz. The MP without a number value indicates that it's a single core, it is also confirmed using another hardware identification application shown here. Under Network, it shows that the box has dual-band 5.8GHz Wi-Fi support, and you can also see the signal strength link speed and the frequency. The operating system is Android 7.1.2 Nougat, and it also shows that the box is rooted. Under thermal information, it shows that the box runs between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius under normal room temperature, and this can rise up to 75 degrees under heavy activity. If you apply a passive cooling fan it ranges between 45 and 55 degrees. The box comes with codecs for playing 4K videos like H.264, HEVC, and VP9 decoding, and a couple of others all needed for the playback of HD media. And that's it for system and hardware information, and I'll now move on to the benchmarks. I'll first start with the RAM and memory read and write speeds. The B-Link A1 has a RAM copy speed of 3,397 megabytes per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 45 megabytes per second and a write speed of 39. And the SD card reader has a read speed of 35 megabytes per second and a write speed of 11. These scores are okay for a regular movie streaming TV box. I'll now show the results of the Wi-Fi speed test. Just a quick bit of information. If you have a wireless router that has been in constant use for over a year or two, you would want to consider purchasing a new high-quality AC router. An older worn-out router will not give you your maximum speed compared to when you first purchased it, this is simply because the electronic components deteriorate over time. Back to the results. I did a total of 9 tests, 3 on each Wi-Fi band and 3 on the LAN port, and the results show that the box was able to hit the maximum speed of my internet package of 40 megabytes with every try. This means that the B-Link A1 has really good Wi-Fi reception within a 90 feet radius if you have a proper functioning router. I now show the results of the Antutu benchmark. Due to the single-core GPU used in this box, the new version of the Antutu benchmark would not run, so I installed the previous 6.0 version that is compatible with all the previous models. And the results show that the B-Link A1 got an Antutu score of 29,234. This score is pretty low for a TV box and it also indicates that this box is not meant for extreme gaming. 
In the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark, the box got a score of 530 single-core and 1315 multi-core. This score is consistent with other boxes in its class. The final results is from the Ice Storm Extreme GPU benchmark, part of the series of various graphics tests tailored to a specific Android device. The results show that the A1 got an Ice Storm Extreme score of 2176. This is a very low score for a TV box. Well that's it for the benchmarks, and I move on to the entertainment segment. The main function of a TV box is to stream movies and TV shows. Whether it's a paid service or a free service, what you actually watch on your TV box is totally up to you. If you are into paid subscription services, you can install apps like Netflix, Sling TV, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. However, due to the inadequate DRM support, these services may be limited to sub-level picture quality. If you cannot afford paid premium movie streaming services that's not a problem. The YouTube application which is the Android TV version found on the Aptoid App Store, can play YouTube videos in 4K quality. I'll do a little live demonstration. So as you can see, the video ran in 4K quality, and here is the stats for nerds information to confirm it. I'll now test the box's 4K video playback capability. So for a little TV box the 4K samples ran quite well, with the exception of a slight stuttering on the 4K Jellyfish video at 400 megabits per second. For my final demonstration, I'm playing the Real Racing 3 game to test the box's 3D graphics capability.
The game managed to play okay on this box, but the graphics was not of a high quality. Also, I couldn't get my keymapping app to work on this box. So in summary, the B-Link A1 is a good little TV box for streaming free movies and TV shows, it comes with 4GB of RAM, the box is rooted, it can play 4K videos at 60 frames per second, and it can play some Android games. On the flip side, the GPU isn't powerful enough for smooth 3D gaming, the benchmark scores are a bit low, my keymapping app didn't work, and it comes with an infrared remote. So I've come to the end of my review of the B-Link A1 4K Android TV box. If you are interested in this device, a link was placed in the description area where you can get it at an unbeatable price. Thanks for watching, remember to like this video if you found it informative, share it with your social media friends, and subscribe to this channel for more TV box stop videos.